Welcome fellow recovering traditionalists to episode 179, a math hack that isn't a hack. Welcome to Build Math Minds, the podcast where fidelity to your students is greater than fidelity to your textbook. I'm your host, Christina Tonnevold, the Recovering Traditionalist and BuildMathMinds.com founder, where my mission is to change the way we teach elementary math to our kiddos. So are you ready to start building math minds and not just creating calculators? Let's get started. I came across a video on Instagram this week sharing what they called a quote unquote mind blowing math hack. Now, I'll be honest and say this idea that they shared wasn't new to me, but it was something that I didn't learn until I was an adult, not when I was a student. So if you've never thought about this math concept in this way that I'm going to share, it might seem quote unquote mind blowing when you first learn it, but it's not a hack or a trick. It's rooted in a property of mathematics and everyone should know about it and understand why it works. So here's the idea. In a problem like 16% of 25, most of us learned that we should turn that percentage into a decimal and that of means to multiply. So that problem is basically 16 hundredths times 25. Or you might have learned to just do the 16 times 25 and then divide by 100. Either way works. However, Did you also know that you could flip the numbers around and instead of doing 16% of 25, you can think of it as 25% of 16. And 25% of 16 means you take a quarter of 16, which is four and way easier to do in your head. Now, two things to note about this. Number one, this will always, always, always work because multiplication is commutative. You can flip them. The order in which you multiply numbers does not matter. We all know that you can do 9 times 5 or 5 times 9, but not many of us have had experiences applying that no matter what types of numbers we are multiplying. Okay, so number two is that even though this always works, it actually doesn't make sense to use it all the time. There are some hacks or tricks, whatever you want to call them, that only mathematically work some of the time. And so we discourage the use of them because they are just tricks that stop working. For example, the whole multiplying by nines trick where you teach students to use their fingers, I'm not even gonna show it because it is only a trick. So if you don't know it, don't worry about it, but it only works for multiplying nine times another single digit. It doesn't work when you have to do nine times 17. However, with this hack that they were sharing, the idea that you can swap those numbers will always, always work. You can always flip the numbers around and you will get the same answer. But you may not want to. (laughs) So let's take a look at a couple of examples. Let's say the problem was 27% of 315. We would get the same answer if we flipped it and did 315% of 27. But should we? (laughs) Does that really help us out at all? No. How about if we needed to find 27% of 50? Thinking about it as 50% of 27 would be more helpful. So I guess with this episode, I want you to think about the math hacks or tricks that you see or maybe you even teach to your students and really dive in to see if it's just a trick i.e. the way to tell if it's a trick is that it stops working, or if it is based on solid mathematical ideas. If it's based on solid mathematical ideas, then spend time investigating with, with your students. Have them investigate and find out if it will always work. And then should we always use it? And if not, when does it actually make sense to use it? And my final thought on this video was that It was a reminder of how often mathematical ideas do not get connected for students. This quote unquote hack seems mind blowing because problems where you are finding percent of were not connected to the basic ideas of multiplication for you. 
In every math concept, we should be helping students see how it connects to the mathematical concepts they already know. The more connections we can help students build, the more mathematics makes sense, and it isn't seen as magical tricks and hacks. All right, my fellow recovering traditionalists, until next week, keep building math minds.